The province is set to release its first report on how to best work with the energy industry to achieve environmental targets. The Oil Sands Advisory Group is talking about its next steps to work people affected by the oil sands. Jordan Canigan joins us now live from downtown. Jordan, the industry is gearing up for some big changes. Yeah, for sure, Chris. That's something that uh, the industry and stakeholders say that they are preparing for, but they say that those changes are long-term. So they're uh, down the road. They say, of course, uh, implementing emissions uh, uh, targets in the oil sands isn't something that could just happen overnight. So a lot of the industry focus right now is on education and how to prepare for the future. Uh, Bow Valley College actually recently introduced a petroleum industry management certificate to try and help people adapt to the changing conversation around climate change. And former Premier Alison Redford even spoke to industry leaders at the college today. She said nowadays, industry, government, and community need to all work together for the energy sector to move forward. And she notes that those relationships weren't as necessary even a decade ago. Redford says that oil and gas companies need to continue to work on gaining the trust of Albertans. And that's something they try and teach at the college. Yes, to be able to make those adjustments, the industry is looking at uh, education and at sustainable education as well to make sure that every member of their organization are knowledgeable about all basic and essential aspects of their organization. So the Oil Sands Advisory Group is a mix of 15 people uh, made up of representatives from industry, indigenous groups and environmental advocates as well. They'll be releasing their first report at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Chris? Okay, thanks Jordan.